Why am I so shy? I'd achieve so much more if I was more confident. Does this sound like you? Do you often feel like your lack of confidence is holding you back? Maybe you have a great idea, but you're worried about what others will think, so you just don't put yourself out there. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you three simple tricks to help you feel more confident in yourself, speak with more authority, and take action on the things that have been holding you back. Brace yourself. Hi, my name is Jacob Satiris, and before my own self-development journey, I used to hide away from the camera, even though I knew I needed it to succeed in my goals. I used to be too afraid to put my ideas out there to the world in the fear that I would just be ridiculed and laughed at. And I used to speak like a timid schoolboy, when in reality, I needed to project myself as a confident authority in my space. So if you're anything like I used to be, then stick around for my three easy steps to become a more confident you on camera. So first, let's address a big one. The one that stops most people from doing anything outside of their comfort zone, not just presenting to camera. And that's other people's opinions and worrying about them. Sadly, we go through life worried about what other people may think or say about our life choices, when in reality, everyone is focused on themselves. What we need to realise right away is that people are selfish creatures. And I mean this in the nicest way, but we all live in our own little movie called the movie of me. We're not worried about that person holding a camera up and speaking to nobody. In fact, in today's world, we half expect that to be how people communicate. But the issue lies deep within us, and we focus heavily on what others may be thinking when we really shouldn't. In the movie of me, we only care about what's going on in our little lives and how our actions are seen by other people. It's very rare that we put our attention on the movie of someone else and concentrate our focus on them and their actions. The sooner we're able to realise this, the quicker we can venture outside of our comfort zones with little concern about external options and opinions that just aren't there. This is something I really struggled with to begin with, but once I got around that way of thinking and my mindset was right, it made a huge difference. I'd like you to consider this for a moment. When was the last time you saw someone doing something that perhaps caught your attention and made you think about recording it and ridiculing them in front of the world? Or posting something on Facebook about how silly this person looks? I could probably answer that for you with a solid never. But the fact is, there is probably lots going on around you during your day that you don't even notice because it's not your life. Which is exactly how others experience the world as well. They really won't judge or focus on you and your efforts because you're trying to do something different. So shake off that made up concern that everyone wants to look, shake it, get rid of it. Shake it, <laughs> just get rid of that. Okay, that way of thinking is not good for anyone because no one's going to point out your failures. No one really cares, unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you. Secondly, and this is the most common problem that many people face when trying to present on camera or in front of people, and that's the dreaded filler words. Now, for those that aren't familiar with the term filler words, it's when we fill a space in our talk with a um or an er uh or my absolute favourite, like. Okay, <laughs> sound like a teenager then, like. These bring absolutely no value to the words that you're saying and do a pretty bad job of helping build others' trust in what you're trying to convey. What you should do when you know your train of thought is running out is to pause and take a breath. I'm confident that it, that in <laughs> I'm confident that in that one second pause I just did, you didn't immediately switch off and click the video. If you did, you just missed me. <laughs> in fact, I'm certain you probably became more interested in what was coming next. See, filler words find their way into your communication when you just aren't confident about what you're saying. So my advice would to be ensure that you have structure and knowledge in the sub that you, you, subject that you're about. I'm all about it today. The subject that you're trying to present. <laughs> um, for example, if I asked most of you to talk about your favorite sports personality or favorite hobby, I don't know, you'd be able to talk confidently for some duration without any ums or ers or likes. Like, this is because you know your subject matter and you enjoy talking about it. There isn't a need for a gap for your brain to think about what's coming next because 
it's already there. It's firing on all cylinders and it's engaged with your words. So when you feel like you need to think of what's coming next, don't use a filler word. Instead, pause and take a breath. The next step to speaking with more confidence and authority is to forget perfection. It doesn't exist. And even if it did, nobody wants to hear it. The most powerful tool that we have as human beings is our ability to be relatable. People like to connect on a real and authentic level with others. And we all know that there is no such thing as perfection, so why aim for it? Now, I'm not talking about going and trashing your presentation that's coming up, but I am saying that if you mess up or forget your lines, don't go into a meltdown. Make a joke of it and relax. People will already be feeling tense enough for you when it looks like it's going wrong, trust me. So injecting some humor will help you relax and it will help the room relax. And if you're making content for a video, just allow yourself to be rubbish. Allow yourself to take 50 takes to get it right. I mean, if you knew the amount of takes that I've taken to get this one right, it's unbelievable. If anybody came out as a one take wonder, okay, and their content was absolutely perfect, we'd all be looking for how it was done rather than enjoying the content. We'd be calling it fake news or CGI or some rubbish like that. So don't worry if your video presentation isn't 100% perfect because in the eyes of the viewer, it's better than you realize. So those are my three easy steps to speaking with more confidence during a presentation or video, or whatever you're doing really. And if you enjoyed this video, there will be plenty more coming to help you with your personal development, to help you develop more confidence, whether that's on camera or in your real life, and to expand your inner belief systems. So if this sounds like something you'd like to see more of, please consider hitting that like button because YouTube's algorithms love it apparently, and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget, please check out our new Facebook group, Sell Yourself Digital, which is now open for anyone to come and join. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.